Lieutenant Colonel John Sotel. I serve as the Protection Chief for the 143rd Expeditionary Sustainment Command. I am originally from New York City, New York. I was born in Manhattan, about 10 to 15 minute walk from Madison Square Garden. Um, grew up there and then, you know, went through school, went through middle school, high school, graduated, and then decided that the military was something that I wanted to do based on different things that were going on in my life. Uh, some of the people that helped guide me towards that was my grandfather who served both in World War I and World War II, and along with my brother who, who was currently in the Army uh, prior to me joining. I joined the military in 93 as an 11 Charlie, uh, which was a uh, mortarman. You know, went through basic training, AIT, then the Airborne School. And then I was, so I was on active duty, did both Fort Bragg and also Germany for five years. And then I transferred to the California National Guard, continued to maintain my infantry status, and then moved to North Carolina where, again, I was still enlisted soldier, but that's where I was also working on my bachelor's degree. Um, and decided to, you know what, let me see if becoming an officer is an option. So I applied for the ROTC program and they accepted me and then went through that process and got commissioned in 2002. Again, I was still in the National Guard through a couple of deployments um, and then just change of work style. I decided that um, I had to shift because I was moving from North Carolina up to the DC area for a new job and realized that the National Guard was no longer the path for me. And then I decided, that's when I decided that the reserves was the path that I wanted to go to. And, that, and as an MP officer, I got immediately assigned to the 200th Military Police Command out of Fort Meade, Maryland. And then since then, I've been in the reserves. I enjoy wearing the uniform. I'm proud to put the uniform on. I'm proud to wear it whenever I'm outside. I'm proud of the service that I've accomplished. I credit my service to my family, to my wife and now my children. They've gone through the path since I've become an AGR officer. They've gone through the path and helped me out through this process. Bringing me into the military, I credit that to my grandfather and my older brother because of the military tradition in our family. Do what you want to do and don't take no for an answer. If you want to go to airborne school, you might have to wait a couple extra months but get what you want so that you can establish yourself. So always take something from everybody, good or bad.